Hi, welcome to all to another tutorial of ETAPS 2015. In this tutorial, we will learn about uh, creating a steel structure, a steel building with IS standards. And one of uh, my friends in the in the last video commented about uh, wanted to know about bracing system so for that uh, we are going to use this building only which is i am going to create today in this tutorial so this tutorial will be very important because in steel structures uh, we are going to provide uh, the bracings and uh, we will continue uh, the design um, and then we will analyze the building for bracings also so please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, be ready to like and share this video to all of your friends civil engineers in India so that they can learn ETAPS 2015 and how to create a steel building using ETAPS 2015 so let's start For creating a new building, I will start with a new model by clicking on it. So after that, this dialog box will appear. In this, we will select the required uh, uh, units that is SI units and uh, steel section database we will take steel Indian and steel design code we will follow as IS 800 2007 the newest code and the concrete design uh, which is uh, we are going to take slab sections uh, over mm, the, that is deck slab uh, with uh, uh, steel uh, beam composite beam below so we are going to take uh, that for uh, IS 456 2000 so concrete design will be according to that thing then press ok the new model templates will appear in this we will take a number of story 6 and uh, the typical story height uh, will be 3 meters and uh, the bottom story height will be we are going to take 3.3 3. So bottom story height uh, I'm increasing to 3.3 and uh, I'm going to take a rectangular building this time with uh, 7 grid lines in x direction and uh, 5 grid lines in y direction and the center to center distance will be this time 3.3 5 meters and uh, 3 meters now after uh, generating this we can start by pressing on grid only press on ok the grids of the structure with the number of stories what we have selected will automatically generated so we can see that our structure is ready only grids are present in our structure with different floor story heights for clearly viewing I always uh, change the graphics output display to black color background because it is very uh, smooth for our eyes and uh, we can work for a longer time if we start with a black color screen the visibility is good in black screen so I prefer black screen working so for defining the material properties 
we need to go to define and then press on material properties we already have the three material properties which is uh, which we cannot delete but we can add a new material by click on this add new material in this we can select Indian code and the steel and for this steel we know that we have 250 steel available in market FE250 and also FE345 so these two materials are available so we are taking it and these are the properties which is already defined by the ETAPS 2015 so we need not, need not to check uh, if you want to change a few of the values from your manufacturer default if you know then you can change these values which are uh, provided by the manufacturer of steel sections press ok after defining two of the properties and for slab we will select uh, Indian concrete and we will take M25 concrete for slab and also we will define the rebars to be introduced in the concrete so select rebars and HYSD 500 grade for steel we are going to use in the slab rebars after providing all these values press ok so we have defined the materials now we are going to define the beams and columns of the steel structure and then the slab section first for defining the beams go to define section properties frames from before few of the beams and columns are already auto generated by the program for importing all the steel sections available in steel tables that is whatever we are going to use in this uh, structure we have to give the properties from the available steel sections in market so that you can select by clicking on import new properties we will click on steel I section flame flanges and then we can see these are the various steel sections available so we are going to select we are going to import all this property by clicking on the first one ISHB 150 then going down by pressing the shift key click on the last left click on the last uh, ISWB 602 all the beams will get selected all the I sections will get selected then press OK now you can see that see that in the properties we can see all the I sections required for our building after importing the properties of the steel sections we have to create our beam so we don't know what what beam section we are going to provide 
if you already have a structure then you can select directly that uh, section of a beam and that section of column directly from here but if you don't know and you are in the designing stage then you have to auto uh, we have to take a auto beam created for for our structure such that it can be changed anytime if uh, the analysis is failing and the structure to make the structure safe so we will add a new property by clicking on add new property now we will select the auto select list for generating the auto beams the frame section property data pop up will appear in this write as auto beam you can fix the depth of the beam by that you can select required depth of the eye section i am going to take beam depth of 300 to 400 or 300 to 450 so below that 150 200 225 this depth of beams will not be used for our auto generated beam so i am going to select from 300 by clicking the shift key to 450 press add ishb sections have been added from 300 to 450 then again from 300 to 450 we will select islb similarly select ismb and iswb from 300 to 450 and then press add so we have selected all the required beam sections from 300 to 450 depth so according to our list the program will select a auto beam for our structure so auto beam we have created so to identify this beam we will write it in capital letters okay to to get it quickly i am writing it as auto beam in capital letters so the section will be selected by auto select mode and all the properties have been provided press on ok the auto beam is created we are going to add the auto columns also for our structure add new property go to auto select list again this time select the highest depth members for the columns mostly ishb and iswbs are used for columns so we are going to select these from 300 to the last and also ishb from 300 to the last and we will name this as auto column in caps press on ok so we have provided auto beam and auto column for adding braces later we will define 
the bracings separately in our next tutorial. Press OK to exit. Now we have to assign the columns and beams to the structure. Go to quick draw beams. Or by going to, to draw menu, then by clicking on quick draw beams, then select here the auto beam we have created. This will be continuous and check that the story selection is taken as similar stories on the right below corner. Now by dragging your cursor from left top corner to right bottom corner selecting all the beams drawing at once all the beams of all the floors similar to the top floor. Now for drawing the columns click on quick draw columns and select auto column auto column by keeping the angle degree to 0, I am going to change the visibility, white background, so that we can see the columns. Now you can see the orientation of the column is like this. Web of the I section is parallel to X axis. So these we are going to provide. on the interiors and by rotating 90 degrees we are taking and this corner so the orientation can be changed by changing the angle here or by changing the axis of the column by going to the assign menu after selecting the columns we are going to change for providing the slabs to this structure first exit from the draw menu by clicking on the cursor button now define the slab section first for defining go to define section properties for this time we will take deck section we will modify the deck 1, we will change the concrete to M25 and the deck material to HYSD 500. Slab depth we are taking as 110 mm. Remaining all things we are going to keep it as same. Press OK then ok once again. For placing the deck slab on any floor we need to provide the composite beams below the deck slabs so for that go to define section properties frame sections and then add new property go to composite steel composite I sections
select auto select for the section shape and for this we will select ISLB from 75 to 300 and we will provide the name as composite press ok press on ok again now for providing the composite beams go to draw menu go to draw beam column brace objects in this go to quick draw secondary beams now select the composite beams we have created see that the moment release is pinned jointed you can change the number of beams for a span for this the 3 is enough because it is 3.5 meters and 3 meters so 3 will be more than enough You can directly draw all the composite beams or by clicking on the each slab sections. So you can now see that we have drawn the composite beams. Now for slab, go to draw slab and select here deck 1. See that the grid snap is on. going in the clockwise direction from 1A to A5, G5, then to G1, then press enter at G1 itself to create the slab. See that the orientation of the slab is shown. After creating the deck slab, now we have to provide the loadings to the structure. Since this structure is steel structure with a very close spacing, this can be taken as a residential building. So we are going to apply the loads for the residential. To exit the draw menu, click on the cursor button. So for residential building, we are going to provide dead load, live load, super dead load and you can take the live load as a reducible live for if you are providing the earthquake loads also. So for general design I am going to show for that I am taking the dead load, live loads and the super dead loads. So for providing the load data go to define press on load patterns we already have two type of load that is dead load and live load by clicking as dead select super dead here see that the sulfate multiplier is zero press add new load the super dead load will be added press ok then select the slab sections that is deck slab see that all six shells has been selected of the six floors 
now assign go to assign the shell loads uniform loads select dead dead load as 2 kN the self weight of the slab is already taken by the ETAPS 2015 so we need not to provide that again so we are going to provide this uh, uh, load of dead load for 1 kN for the floor finishes and 1 kN for the fall ceiling and other loads so 2 kN we are going to add in the gravity direction press on apply then ok then again select the previous selection go to assign shell loads uniform this time go to live and provide the live load for the residential building that is 2 in the gravity direction press on apply then ok now select all the beams by the select properties frame sections auto beam select all the beams will get selected now assign the frame loads distributed as super dead in the gravity direction the load is 7 kN per meter for the glass loading and the interior wall loading. I can provide 6 kN per meter also. For lightweight, if you are providing the brick wall, then we are you have you have to take 11.5 or you have to calculate the load for each frame then you have to provide that uniform load here so for this tutorial we are going to take 7 kN per meter press on apply then press on ok go to the 3D view and pressing on set display options press on extrude frames apply to all windows apply you can see the section created we have provided to the structure now to exit the extrude view again set display option and select the extrude views and the structure will be again now we will run the analysis for our structure for that go to analyze and first we will check the model
so no warning has been generated now we will analyze I have not select saved the structure so we will save this structure so we are running the analysis So this is how it looks after the analysis is complete. So this is the dead load case and the live load case. By clicking on the display frame, peer spandrel link forces. You can generate the bending moment diagrams due to dead load and live load separately by right clicking on any beam you can see the shear force and the bending moment diagrams and their values at a different length 